Om Shanti, welcome back to your own channel, see the Sudha Truth Lies Within and we are recording today, that is 16th March of a Godly Blessing where Supreme Father wants us to have the fragrance of spirituality. Just like a flower has a fragrance, similarly over here spirituality also has a fragrance and God wants us to experience His love by staying detached from all limited things, limited things means of this world. So let's explore what is the heading of the blessing. Baba says, May you become full of the fragrance of spirituality and experience God's love by staying detached from all limitations. The explanation goes like this. A rose stays in the midst of thorns. Thorns over here denotes people. People who have got harsh words and their actions are also viceful. They are people who come in a life who actually try to dominate us. People who try to come in our life who try to push us to our limits who maybe are abusive in a relationship who are maybe trying to push us down in a life demean us they can be thorns who give us any kind of trouble mental or physical so a rose stays in the midst of a of thorns so what does god wants us to become he must have already realized that that means he wants us to become like a rose who has got the fragrance of spirituality so a rose stays in the midst of thorns and still remains detached and fragrant. Many people they tell me that it is difficult for me to stay in a city like this or, or a place like this or in a family like this. I want to leave this family and go away or I want to leave this place and go away. This place doesn't belong to me. This family doesn't belong to me. Whereas God says that if you have the power of tolerance, if you have the patience and if you have this right spiritual attitude and if you're learning the spiritual methods, then it is possible for you to survive like a rose anywhere amongst the thorns. So a rose stays in the midst of thorns and still remains detached and fragrant. It doesn't lose its fragrance. That means it doesn't become evil like other people. That means it doesn't become like a thorn like other thorns and doesn't get spoiled by the thorns. That means even if other people are negative, impure, they have bad thoughts about you or they have demeaning words for you, you still are just like a rose because you are connected to the supreme being, the supreme rose. In the same way, you spiritual roses, now God is talking about spiritual roses, are detached from all limitations. So whether somebody is greedy for a post and position and tries to push you down and tries to take up that position, well, good, most, you're most welcome. You're not going to become like that person and push that person down, just for example. And bodies are not influenced by anything. So. You spiritual roses are detached from all limitations and bodies and are not influenced by anything. You will therefore become full of the fragrance of spirituality. That means things, people, situations don't make us lose our fragrance of spirituality. We don't use vices, we rather use virtues because virtues are fragment. Vices, a person, you cannot stand a person who is not thinking right you cannot be in a scenario or in an atmosphere where everybody is negative right similarly anybody who is greedy or egoistic one should not be over there but even if you are there you can become like a fragrant flower and not be affected by those thorns so then god says such fragrant souls are loved by the father even if other people put them down but you are loved by the father which is the most important thing <coughs> and the Brahmin family that means those souls who are part of Brahma Kumaris so you are loved by the father and the Brahmin family God's love never finishes it is infinite and is strong and is so much that everyone can receive it but for that we have to become like a rose we have to become virtuous if we have virtues only then God's love can be received if we have vices then it won't be possible to receive God's love. But the method to receive it is to be detached. So detached from wants and desires of the world, detached from methods of the old world, that means wiseful methods, and detached from any feelings of what people think about us, what people talk about us. And that is where you can receive God's love. For more details, you can go ahead and learn the seven day spiritual course at Brahma Kumaris and get to know what exactly God is talking about over here. This is Om Shanti.